Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to show you guys this hidden, almost kind of creepy menu that is information stored from your watch onto your phone. Uh, you know, you can take a look at your notification history, the connection history, you can test your eSIM features, you can run a phone dump of the storage, you can run the gear dump of the storage, and I'm going to show you where this hidden menu is at, but I'm also going to really show you one key feature or thing to know that is going to be helpful and not really so creepy. Now, now, you got to remember all of these phones and watches they're connected in some way storage is saved in somewhere cached on your phone so this way if you lose a watch you get a new one you can restore it and, and reset it things like that so where you're able to find all this information is it's all stored inside of the galaxy wearable application so mine is sitting in the samsung folder you open up galaxy wearable now if you have multiple things connected just make sure you head over inside of the option of watch because if you go to the Galaxy Buds Plus or any other thing, uh, you're not gonna be able to find this hidden menu. So we're gonna go inside of the Galaxy Watch 3. And then once this thing loads up, we're gonna go to the very top left-hand side. And this is where you choose About Galaxy Wearable. Now you're gonna see this uh, Galaxy Wearable version here, but you'll also see the version of the Watch plugin. This is where you tap on that version uh, about five or six times. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five taps. It takes you inside of this get dump information. Uh, but really, where this is going to help you out will be connection history. So let's state that maybe you went somewhere, you took your watch off for maybe a minute, you're washing your hands. Maybe it's in your gym bag. Maybe it's at a friend's house. Maybe it's at your house. But you're not connected to the watch. You're not within Bluetooth range. So you can't really say the whole find my watch option. So what you're able to do is you can tap on this right here inside of the, the whole connection menu, you can show on map. So then this way you're able to show where it's located, where it was losing its connection or where it initially lost its connection. So this way you'd be able to find it. So let's take a look at this one over here. So this is where I disconnected because my Bluetooth was turned off. Uh, this one right here was just talking about it was linked lost and so it wasn't really because the Bluetooth was turned off. So you can see if it's because of the watch being disconnected or if it's Bluetooth being disconnected. So I'm gonna go to this, you know, show on the map here. So when I choose on this one here, I know that if I look at that dot, then more than likely it's probably over at Planet Fitness. So this was where I was at when I was, you know, working out. So maybe this thing was sitting on top of my bag and it fell off. So this was the last location where I was able to, you know, be connected to my watch. So this way I'd be able to drive to this location. And as long as I'm within that Bluetooth range of, you know, a good 30 to, to 80 feet, I'd be able to do the whole, you know, find lost watch or find my watch because then it might state on my phone that I just reconnected, you know, to the watch again. If you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate this video, you appreciate tips and tricks, tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So after I found this really cool, helpful, kind of creepy menu inside of this watch plugin, I wanted to not really just show you that there's a weird menu you can go to. I wanted to actually get a little bit of substance from it. So really the best thing from here is this connection history. It's better to know now than later when you lose your watch and you didn't know how you can locate it and you bought a new one. So this is a way that you can locate it if it is not around you. You can find where it last was. Hopefully you can get into that Bluetooth range. It'll notify you that you've connected and paired. Then you can do the find my watch option um, or you can use it as a different way. So you can see, oh, well, this one was disconnected because I turned off Bluetooth. This one was disconnected locally and disconnected locally. That means that this watch was probably just charging somewhere and I walked out of range. But if you notice that your watch always disconnects, it disconnects multiple times in the day and you're not walking away. Your phone is in your pocket, the, the, the watch is on your wrist. Then you can say, hey, Samsung, I've lost connection locally or Link lost it many, many times. Uh, so I got a feeling that there's a problem with my watch. So this is something that you can also take a look at as well. And if you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Did you know if you hit that like button, it actually turns blue. Also, if you are brand new still and you have not subscribed, hit on that very bottom left hand side, that little circle, subscribe right over here. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.